Hey, you! Have you heard of this little thing called... Genshin Impact? You mean, the game you've been obsessively playing for the last couple of days? Yes. Please play Genshin with me? So recently, I've gotten back into playing Genshin Impact again. I haven't really had much time to play games lately, because animating at work takes up so much of my time these days. So, when Genshin Impact fell down from the skies and went... What if we paid you to play? Oh, me? Yes, there's no one else in this room then. <laughs> Ready! Uh, wait, do you just have that in your closet? <laughs> me? No! No, not at all. Okay, yes. When I first dove into the world of Genshin, I drowned. Listen, the world is so beautiful that the first thing I wanted to do was explore and catch a fish. And I didn't know that there would be a thing called consequences. Diving back in a second time, I realized I haven't really finished much of the storyline because in every RPG that I play, I proactively avoid the main storyline like it's the plague. I know, I know, I know. You're gonna judge me, but I kind of really like side quests. Hear me out. Struggling? Low-key? Overrated. Because I kind of like walking into boss fights, being super overpowered, not having to break a sweat. You know, side quests are also my favorite way to explore the world. Especially for a game so pretty. Babe, look at how pretty this world is. We can explore it together. Oh, it's you, little cutie. Please. So one of my favorite quests was the one where Lisa asks you to help her retrieve some overdue library books all over Mondstadt. While looking for the books, we also get food and flowers that Lisa might like. All she calls is a cutie. So like a date? Hey, I can't help it if I'm cute! I really enjoyed going around Mondstadt City. It's one of those places that feels like it's straight out of a storybook. I can just imagine myself being one of the villagers walking down the streets and smelling the fresh bread as I pass by, waving hello to the other villagers while I read a book by the fountain. And beyond the castle walls is a beautiful yet dangerous grasslands which I dream to explore but I'm too afraid to dare. But one day, I do! I step out to the great unknown only to be ambushed by hilly churls. But then Lisa comes to my rescue. Are you daydreaming again, Dan? <laughs> what? Another quest we go on, we end up helping Shang Ling, the head chef of Wan Min Restaurant. We help her by gathering ingredients from all over Mondstadt so she can make the best dish. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never understand. While on this mission, she keeps hyping up her hometown, Li Wei. And now I have to visit because I'm so immersed in this world already, and I'm curious! I want to try all the foods! So I book my one-way flight to Liwei, and I'm ready to be a tourist. But oh my Archon! I did not expect to see what I saw the moment I peeked over that valley. <laughs> yeah, boy. My jaw dropped. The warm glow of the lanterns lighting up the beautiful night sky beneath the moonlight in Liwei. Oh! A giant city surrounded by water for ship trades with mountains in the back. Ah! It felt like a movie, even a dream! Oh my gosh, I wanted to live in this world! I really appreciate that it took inspiration from several places within China, particularly the southwest and the karst landform to design the stone gate. And for someone who doesn't really get to travel all too much in real life, I was on my knees on how beautiful the scenery is. The moment Fontaine was introduced, it was game over. I was on a mission to get to Fontaine at all cost. But um, being a side quest girl, it kind of backfired. <laughs> How fortunate. Since I've been distracted by all the side quests and looking over every horizon for every single treasure chest that I found, there was a little problem. Fontaine was on the other side of the map, and when Genshin said open world, I didn't realize it was going to be this massive. But nothing is gonna stop me from getting to Fontaine. I can't swim in real life and sea creatures are kinda really scary. Huh? So this is the closest thing I have to swimming the depths of the ocean. And nothing was gonna stop me. Alright, what do we have here? So it looks like we're going to have to go through leeway, a crater, a forest? 
the desert. A bunch of enemies were definitely not strong enough to fight. And, ooh, a black hole. Oh, you're a pretty bird. Do you want to be friends? Back later. On my journey to Fontaine, I found myself in the Sumeru Forest, specifically in Vanarana. It's the definition of visual eye candy, with big giant plants towering over you to houses that look like giant onions. And did I not mention that my favorite creatures live here? The Araneras are the absolute most precious things in this world aside from my dog, and they must be protected at all costs. Huh, they kind of look like you when you're lost in thought. After falling off way too many trees in Sumeru, I finally make it to Fontaine. Have you met any of the new characters yet? Of course, the first thing I did when I made it to Fontaine was obviously exploring the ocean. Ah. Yeah. Here we go again. It felt like I was exploring the lost city of Atlantis while finding lost and forgotten treasures. Not only that, but I was finally able to become a mermaid. I swam around with the blubber beast and the cutest little otter that just wants to show me his tiny little clam. Can we be friends? They're so cute. Oh, he's playing with his clam shell. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's be friends. And a bunch of super cute enemies that we were definitely not strong enough to fight. You. You're so cute! We obviously can't talk about Genshin without talking about the characters, each with unique abilities that can help you in your journey in Teyvat. Each character can control one of the seven elements, Animo, Cryo, Dendro, Electro, Geo, Hydro, or Pyro. I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning, I didn't really understand why everyone was so in love with these characters. Until... Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Ah! Wait, what's happening? Leaving already? See you next time, then. Don't make me wait too long, though. Why does this keep happening? No need for small talk. All that matters is that you were safe last night. Hmm. Okay. I realized the more I spend time with these characters, the more they seem to dig their claws into my heart. The voice acting, the character designs, their outfits, it's the perfect storm. As an artist, these character designs are nuts. They have such intricate designs just from their outfit alone. And oh how I wish I can draw something so pretty just once in my life. And also, mind-boggling I know, but I would like to disclose that my favorite character in Genshin is actually a side character named the Lexi. Crazy, I know, who could have guessed? But look at how cute this little robot penguin is. This storyline with this little penguin, don't even get me started. I cried. Uh... Thank, you. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, my child. I'm crying. Maman should have spent more time with you. Did you hear the story? You'll never have to feel lonely again. My heart. <laughs> Silly little robot made me cry. Anyways, I'm keeping all of them. Oh my gosh! Who are you? I'm also gonna briefly talk about Navia just so I have an excuse to draw myself as her. Ta-da! I've been kind of obsessed with historic fashion and Navia's design reminds me a little bit of Baroque fashion with a drop of steampunk on top. I just imagined her having some tea and desserts like a little lady of the court while the dogs in uniforms are just guarding her. Anyways, I just wanted an excuse to draw that, so thank you Genshin! So if you want to explore the beautiful open world action RPG that is Genshin Impact, you can click the link in the descriptions down below. Genshin Impact is available on PC, mobile, 
PS4, and 5, along with cross-platform capabilities. Version 4.3 is now available on December 20th, which will be updated with brand new characters like our girls Navia and Chevros. And it's also the perfect time to get one of my personal faves, Raiden Shogun. There's also going to be a bunch of new events like Roses and Muskets, Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, Lost Riches, Dance of the Resolute Will, and many more. You can also obtain rewards such as refinement materials, Primo Gems, Crown of Insight, and Character EXP materials. Again, you can play Genshin Impact today by clicking the link in the descriptions down below. Thanks again to Genshin for sponsoring this video. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!